Caulking your baseboards to the floor is one of those jobs. If you don't know what you're doing, you are going to get into big trouble. Let me show you an absolutely magical method to make this gap completely disappear. And the best part is you're not even gonna notice the caulking. Now the first key here is to tape off the seams. When it comes to where to tape, because this look is gonna be very clean, you could definitely get away with just caulking the, the sections where the big gaps are. If you want it to look slightly better, you could do the entire wall where you have the gaps. You don't necessarily need to worry about doing the entire room because this is gonna to blend together. You're not even gonna really notice it. When it comes to the type of tape, I would avoid using just a regular painter's tape, a little too sticky and more difficult to use. What I like to use is delicate surface tape. The purple stuff's gonna get the job done, but the best choice here is the one inch frog's tape. This stuff goes on surprisingly straight and the best thing here is it doesn't get any wrinkles in it when you're applying it. Now let me show you how to put this tape down. This can make a huge difference. With the floor side of the tape, you want to get it within a millimeter or closer to the baseboard. You don't want to go underneath where the gap is, but you definitely don't want to go too far onto the floor and leave a big gap. And the nice thing about this delicate surfaces tape is you just start at one end and if you stuck it out too far, you can just peel it back up and then get your bearings and get right within that millimeter or less to the baseboard. And then when it comes to the baseboard, the same thing, you wanna get it within a millimeter of the bottom without going past. Rip the tape off and then before you get to the caulking, just take your finger and run it along where the caulking's gonna go and press both those tapes in nice and firm to the seam. You don't want any of that caulking to get underneath. Let's talk caulking. What you want to look for here is a nice interior latex caulking. What I recommend is DAP Dynaflex 230 or Big Stretch. It's gonna be a little more durable and less prone to cracking than some of the cheaper caulkings out there. And then the real magic here to make this look invisible is to try and find a caulking color that somewhat matches the color of your floor. You're never gonna get a perfect match, but you can try to find something that's close or slightly lighter. And if you have white baseboards, you could definitely use white, but it's never gonna look quite as good as if you match up the color with the floor. I'll show you the difference between white and the color match at the end of the video. For this particular floor here, the Dynaflex 230 Cedar Tan is your best option. And if you wanna to try to find the right color for your floor, I will link all the different options in the description as well as the one inch frogs tape. Once you get your tube, you wanna cut a decent size angled tip. You wanna cut it big enough that you're gonna be able to fill up the big gaps with one or two passes. With the tip here, I like to put a black line on the furthest point. That's just gonna help you keep that tube in the right position. And what you wanna do here is just get the biggest part of the crack filled up first, and then we'll go over the entire thing. You don't have to worry about making this look neat and tidy because you're going to be taking most of the caulking off. So fill up the biggest part of the crack and then just go over the entire seam have a quick check and just make sure that it's all filled up. Then once you've got that all filled up, you wanna have some paper towel on hand because things get a little messy. Just take your finger and clean off the caulking, caulking, we'll say. I'll usually just give it two swipes. And then the key here is once you've got that nicely smoothed off, you wanna remove the tape pretty much right away. If you leave it for even say like 20 minutes and then you pull the tape off, the problem is depending on the caulking and the temperature of your home, it can start to dry and then it's just gonna rip off horribly. If you leave this for days, some people might even leave this for a month and then you go to rip that tape off, you're gonna have ridges and it's not gonna look good. The key here is to rip this tape off as soon as you smoothed it out. So we'll go ahead and show you that. It doesn't matter which way you start, just start with the top or the bottom. And just be careful that you don't smudge the caulking all over everything. You can do it on this floor piece if you pull it up along the baseboard. So you wanna just kinda pull this away from the board. 
It's the next day here. From four or five feet away, you can't see the gap. You can't notice the caulking. It is a thing of beauty. I also did a few spots in my home on a tile floor and some of the other wood areas. And then take a look at this example. You can see the difference between using the color match and the white caulking. It's not huge, but you can definitely notice the white caulking a little more. And hey, if you want to see how to do an expert job doing the caulking on the top of your baseboards, or door casings, go ahead and check out this video right over here. Beep, boop, 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 boop. I watch all these YouTube shorts about these cool dance moves that people do, and uh, I'm like, that could be a new career, but uh, probably not.